Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will look at how we could use the solver to solve out a constraint utility maximization problem for a consumer. Uh, so let's assume a simple cop Douglas utility function x to the power of half times y to the power of half, um, which the consumer wants to maximize subject to the budget constraint Px(x) plus Pyy is less than or equal to m where px is equal to 1, py is equal to 2, and m is equal to 100. Uh, clearly, x and y both should be greater than or equal to 0. So let's now assume some initial values for x and y. So we have x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 10. So the utility function is calculated using this initial bundle, and clearly that is equal to 10, and as we can see in the formula bar. The expenditure is nothing but the sum product of the price vector and the consumption vector. And clearly this is less than or equal to the income which is equal to 100. So let's now use the solver. Let's first reset all. Alright, so the, man, or the objective here is to maximize the utility function or the utility, sorry, by changing cells x and y subject to the constraint expenditure should be less than or equal to the income and make the unconstrained variables non-negative which basically means both x and y are greater than or equal to zero we choose grg non-linear method for solving and we click on solve okay so here we can see that x is equal to 50 and y is equal to 25 maximizes the utility for this budget constraint and the utility level is 35.355 all right now we can cross check this graphically so what we will do is we will first plot out the budget line and then we'll plot out the indifference curve that corresponds to this utility function and we will verify that this is indeed tangential to the budget line and we will then show that 50.25 is indeed a bundle that corresponds to the utility level that is tangential to the budget line. So let's take a blank sheet or a, sorry a blank chart area. We select data. We first plot out the budget line which essentially is 0, 0,50 and 100, 0. So this is the x values and this is the corresponding y values and we do OK. We then add utility where the x values are these and the y values are these. So let's now discuss how we calculated these x and y values so what we've done here is we have essentially assumed a series for x i arbitrarily chose x to start from 15 um, and so that it goes all the way to say 80 90 and the value of y as you may have guessed and as you can see in the formula bar is nothing but the utility divided by x to the power of half the whole square and note here that the utility level is fixed which corresponds to the cell so we fix both the row and the column and we apply a double dollar here right dollar f dollar five so that is an important thing so that's how we calculate the entire y series for these values of x's and you can see that this is kind of tangential to the budget line so let's now plot out 50 comma 25 so how do we do that we again say select data we add let's call this bundle the x value is 50 and the y value is 25 okay and you can see here that there is this gray dot on this indifference curve 
which also falls on this budget line. This indeed corresponds to the bundle 50,25. So we've been able to verify graphically that 50,25 is the answer in this problem. Thank you.